What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender. And today I'm going against a guy named Ishaya, who is actually a long-time follower on my channel. He is, how to put it in a good way, um, he's one of those battlers that I tend to have a lot of problem with, because he got so many good ideas on not specific pokes, but rather the team build-up. And these guys are, for that reason alone, very scary to battle because they never tend to reveal their game plan until you're actually losing. And I really felt that throughout this battle that this guy is, I can't really play around it. Uh, he wanted a mixed tier battle, so he never, he didn't brought an OU and uh, I actually didn't do the same either. But I'm, I'm very uncomfortable in mixed, or not uncomfortable, but... I don't have too much experience of it, so I was actually like a little scared. I mean, I want to try new things with my Pokemon that I'm using. They are not the general sets, and just try to uh, try to dent a team that is um, well good constructed. To be honest, he's using Swampert, Dewblade, Roserade, Absol, Gel Fox, and of course the Scrafty. And Scrafty is actually really terrifying because it can deal with every one of my pokes besides the Floridius. So I need to keep my floor just healthy to be able to deal with it properly. Other than that, I mean, I'm using a Gore Guys, which is a Salt Vest Gore Guys and a Fiscal Sweeper instead of the standard sets because I wanted to create a Gore Guys that created me momentum and not, you know, giving away a safe switch for my opponent. And uh, other than that, using Clawless, then Nito Queen with Rocky Helmet, Flawless, Gudra, which is the Fiscal Curse set, and of course my Molga, which is awesome. Honey Pie, you're my hero. But yeah, other than that, Ishaya is, like I said, they're a very scary battler, and I was a little nervous going into this battle, so let's see how it paid off. So as a starter, I thought Gorgeist is probably the best bet to bring it in, and he actually gonna start with Scraft here, so I was thinking I can probably fake that I have, you know, moves like Will-O-Wisp, Bleed Seed, and force him out, which was my general idea, to be honest. And like I said, I decided to switch out, and uh, he actually stays in, and... The reason that is so weird is because I really thought the Will-O-Wisp would scare him, but uh, still, though, my floor just walled this guy perfectly well, and uh, I'm being very aware of that. But still, you know, that was some cold moves to stand in there. So I'm gonna bring Honey Pie here, expecting him to go for um, the Dewblade. So I can, even though Emolga can't really do anything against the Dewblade, I still can pull off a knockoff. And I know that Dewblade don't really have any super effective damage besides Shadow Claw at best. We actually go for Gyro Ball, which is four times resisted, or no, that's two times resisted. And it still does a fair damage because I'm so fast. And I decided to switch out because I really didn't want to save for another one. And uh, just to be honest, I Rocky Helmet is effective on Gyro Ball, and I know I need to bring your wall it out pretty nicely, to be honest. And here it comes back to Scrafty, and uh, I actually have somewhat of a problem dealing with this properly. I go for that power, hoping for him to stay in because of the Evil for gone, but of course he decides to, uh, rather the bat, actually just switch out. He's gonna have better use for it later on. So I go for the stab, slash way, you know, with um, with the share force, and it doesn't miserably. I'm, I'm not invested by any means in special attack, but that's. That's pathetic. <laughs> that is really pathetic. So I'm I'm very forced to switch out here. So I gotta go back right into my floor just yet again. Because like I said, my floor just can't have all this thing. I can't let it build up too much bulk up because I don't know how properly or how good my floor just can deal with in the long run. So I decide yet again to just stay in and I'm gonna force him out here with a moon blast. I do expect him to maybe bring the rose ray, but at the same time, I was really like if I let him attack me and I double switch again, I'm just letting him build up, so I need actually to attack him. I, I do have Psyche on this thing, and Psyche is of course not effective against Doc, so it would be like real risky to be honest. So I'm going to draw share my um, perfectly go cool guys, which is, like I said, it is a sweeping set with Assault Vest, and look at that. It can deal with special damage. I mean, not well, but it can do it, and uh, yeah, poisoned. But I do have packed the flame charge, and that is incredibly unfortunate that you didn't see that one coming. And I'm actually gonna go for Shadow Sneak here because even with the flame charge, I'm still not able to outspeed a uh, Rose Raid. And I think he thought that I was speed invested, so he switched to the Zealand, expecting another flame charge. But I get a crit Shadow Sneak instead. And that is so unfortunate for him. 
<laughs> I mean, that is that is simply not fair at all, and I do pull off here the Shadow Sneak yet again to defeat him. And that is that poor Delphox out of the way, and for the people who watch my list on the folks that sucks most in Generation 6, you will know why Delphox went there. <laughs> I feel so bad for that Pokemon, I really do. So here's the Absol, I do expect him to go for a Sucker Punch here and finish me off. So I decided to, you know what, I can leave him for fodder and save switch. He'll actually go for Flamethrower and um, looking back at it, it was not a bad idea. It gets some neutral damage on anything on my team. So, um, yeah, I didn't expect it, but then again, I kind of liked it. I, I really did. So, yeah, anyway, I do decide to go for another power, hope for him to go for something that could, you know, if I went for Sludge Wave, he could go for his Dewblade, really. So I decided to, okay, Earth Power might be the best bet of him trying to overpredict me. So we have this stalemate again, or it's not a stalemate, it's a losing battle for me because I can't deal with this thing properly and it's starting to stress me out. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much forced here to um, switch out because I didn't expect him to have rest too, so now I know it's shed skin rest. And that can become very scary very fast. So I see this re entry for my Valmaway who um, has an ability to curse up and trying to um, get the better bulk between us and trying to win this uh, win this battle really. I could have gone for my um, Florgis or uh, yeah my Florgis too but I wouldn't have get any momentum and that could be very very scary in the long run so I decided like I said to go for his curse and the reason I call this thing Valmaway it's for, it's a sword in Castlevania that just goes bananas check it out uh, Valmaway on Castlevania is um, yeah it's the best weapon in the game and it, it pretty much goes like uh, one hit uh, it hits like four times for each slash you do and it's, it's incredible it pretty much looks at like a power whip animation um, so yeah anyway we are in somewhat of a stalemate here uh, we both need to bulk up or I need to curse up of course so the only thing here that's worth mentioning is that he has like I said a drain punch which in the long run could finish me off but I do basically 50% here and that is of course not enough because with the leftovers I can't really you know, win this stalemate and uh, it's a little unfortunate here because it goes for another bulk up but then he told me that it's gonna go for rest after this and I really get that we've done the same thing but I do score a crit here and that is just terrible because of course that breaks through and um, yeah any momentum that he was gonna get it was a lost in that second and that is just extremely unfortunate and not fair at all to be honest I mean the hacks are on my side it really is so anyway he will go for the dazzling gleam here and uh, yeah even though it is super effective it's it's not gonna do it and uh, I was very lucky here to go right through the confusion and finish him off so yeah it's it's not much you can do at this point. I mean, the only way I could really kill myself is to, of course, I hit myself with confusion and then retaliate with some physical damage. But I snap out of confusion on the first turn and I hit the power whip and destroy the swampert. I feel for you. I really do. That that is just incredible. And basically, there is nothing you can do here. My Gudra is in the best best of um, yeah, he, best of abilities. To be honest, I never pulled up something like this before. But of course, Gudra, who is physical, is extremely hard to deal with when it gets you set up because having the special defense bulk in conjunction with the extreme special defensive bulk that already has, this thing kind of pulls things off. Of course, it's very sad that you know it isn't stronger than that, but other than that, I mean, it definitely have a place in UU for the right reasons. It's still a big threat to. Um, go up against and I really think the curse set is it's working in its favor and it's strong enough to do it and pull it off so uh, without that I guess I, I should really say Jaya that was a really good battle and I'm really sorry for that crit because that matters so much because I'm pretty sure my floor just couldn't have dealt with that uh, scrapped on its own so yeah and you know looking back at this battle I mean I have the stronger team build up I, the only thing that was really really scary or could potentially become really scary was the Absol, but it, it didn't really get an honest chance to come in and as a result I got the momentum very much needed to win this battle and uh, the crit really mattered. Like I said there, I'm not entirely sure after a few bulk ups that my Lord just could have come in and uh, tried to finish it off with a Moonblast even though it's four times uh, effective 
it's still not invested in special attack and I know that he was specially defensive so yeah like I said I'm not entirely sure I could have stopped it in the end there so yeah it was a good battle overall the hex was definitely on my side this time and uh, it really paid off for um, a very fast paced battle in my favor of course um, so yeah, like I said, thank you for this battle, and I'm pretty sure we will battle soon again, and I hope the Hax Gods are, you know, a little more even. <laughs> uh, because it was a really fun battle, and I really like to do in the mix tier, because it makes me use Pokemon that, I'm, that I've built, but can't really use, or don't want to really use, just want to try them out for, for the fun of it, really. So, with that in mind, hmm. There actually there was a kind of a news here on the global link being shut down through um, through today, yeah, to the 21st 21st November. Uh, I don't really know what that means or is even true. There is not on you know the big sites or anything like that. They had a post on Facebook, so we'll have to wait and see if that's true. Because if that's true, that means that I can't stream on uh, yeah on tomorrow or on Sunday if they shut down the Wi-Fi battles. That was gonna be terrible. I hope it isn't true, or but if it is, then um, yeah, then I'm just gonna upload old battles that I never upload, and you know, doing basic videos and just talk. I guess that will work. But um, yeah, I, like I said, I hope this is a hoax that people are just playing around. If if it is like that, then um, yeah, then I guess, I guess I should uh, thanks Kushov or uh, Dynamic Kush for for that information. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I should do something else too. Um, for you the guys who stayed this long for this video, we should do a question of the day. Just try it out, really. So I wanted to ask you, who is your favorite mascot Pokemon? Uh, since I'm doing a list on this, it's gonna come up tomorrow. I'm just going to do the graphics on it. But um, yeah, basically, who is your favorite between uh, Pikachu, Meryl, uh, Mine and Plusle, uh, well, God, Patricio, Emolga, and Dedene? Who is your favorite between those two? And you can include their evolution because they're actually a part of that, of course. So keep that in mind. And yeah, I just really want to know what you guys feel about those Pokemon and you know why. Why you like them. So without further ado, guys, I guess as you say, you know, the sky's the limit, right? So don't forget that. And have a good day and take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.